Indian dance hall artist Wendy Shea walked out on Accra FM Nana Romeo's interview over questions on affair with her manager Bullet. Um, Wendy got furious as Nana Romeo repeated, um, repeatedly asked her if she was having an amorous affair with her manager. She, however, cleared the air before walking out and she said, and I quote, I am not dating Bullet. I don't know why most of the time when I go for interviews, instead of focusing on issues that will bring progress in our music industry, I get these questions. Let's focus on my artistry, pushing my brand and Ghana to the music to the international level, end of quote. Sensationalization is a problem in the sense that um, a lot of OAPs now... Are I think the OAPs in Ghana, I don't know what their problem is. I don't think they're professional enough, <sighs> if you ask me, because most of them stumble on the job and they just do it. Oh, really? Once you can speak tree in Ghana, it's fine. Mm -hmm. it's, um, nobody's saying it's not okay to present shows in your mother tongue. Mm -hmm. Yes, I wish we could. Do. We even have Yoruba of radio we stations. That, yeah. We have Igbo mm -hmm. radio stations. We have also, But it's really prominent over there, considering the fact that almost all their stations are allowed to speak tree if whether or not I'm from another country and I'm listening to that same radio station if they want to switch to tree it's fine but I cannot go on for 10 minutes saying that it's just you I want to speak so I think they should focus on that professional side but let's leave the language aside that story for no, another leave it so it's indigenous <laughs> that story for another day but sensationalization was what i started with a lot of them just want to trend they want to be in the news now that's what i refer to as gutter journalism because um despite the fact you want to trend if your guest is telling you i'm not comfortable with this question there's a there's a limit in which you it's good. and he went as far as saying it's, i have evidence you want me to show you, you it's that good people to, are having a relationship it's okay to prove. he was it's, very inappropriate and i think that that should yeah. also amount to harassment because i don't understand why you're prying into that a much into a life. person's personal and life it's a personal Asking life. the question is fine you asked it first as she said She's not comfortable with it. She addressed it. But you kept on hammering and saying, oh, you have evidence. How exactly do you have a, an evidence of a person's relationship on your phone? Did you tape them having sex? I don't understand. It's, it's cringy. I don't and know. And then why watching. would you have evidence about my relationship? It's not an affair. You're saying, are you dating this person? You did not ask me, are you having a secret affair with this person? Do you understand? So if it's a relationship and we don't want to be in the open, it's our business. So mm. if I'm telling you I'm not comfortable with it, it's my private life. Life. you don't pry into my private life like that so that was quite disturbing and i think um the guy should tender an apology i hope this is not going to be treated like one of those things like somebody just dumped out and they'll put the blame on the artist because we need to understand that this artist are also human beings yeah. like they also have feelings and they also have a limit to what they want to put out there mm. if they don't want their relationship to be out there it's up to them yeah i think we should also work on having when share on tea time i yeah. mean i think if we do that for us yeah, your Ghana to. links um, because I like how she she handled it. I like okay. how she was talking about her being in the industry for two years and she's trying to celebrate mm. that and push her music as well. Actually, being a dance hall artist and doing what she's doing, I mean, she needed the platform. She needed to speak more. So we would definitely love to know what her experience is in the music industry in Ghana. Mm. Being a woman in that genre, I don't think we have a lot of women mm. doing dance hall artist mm. um, um, songs. So. Um, kudos to Wendy, and I hope Shout that Ghana um, media journalism or whatever they call themselves would be a bit more professional because this is, I think, this is the third story coming out of uh, Ghana we, in the, the last one. The other one was month. about what's, what's that guy's name, Kitty. Kitty yeah, when, although we agree that, yeah, Kitty was, yeah, was it was late, quite but, late, but the way you, um, what you call it now, the way you addressed him live on air was, was wrong, not, yeah, was totally wrong, okay. Um...